Microsoft Dynamics 365 is the central. In this video, we're going to learn about the renewal exam questions of MB800. I've seen so many people are asking different questions on online internet, but uh, nobody's getting the answers for that. So we're going to go through what I had in my exam, so I can actually show you what questions we had and what was the answer I had. So the first question I had this one where it's asking for uh, company plans to use all night core functionality in Business Central. So focus on core functionality. And then it's saying obviously they were provided the item customer and vendor data and company does not want to include sample data. So we do see the answers. Uh, we'll see the sample data will be there where we don't require any sample data. New companies got no uh, sample data or for core functionality. That's the wizard when you open up obviously and create a company and that's the evolution one. The last option you will probably see there is production one. That's the correct answer. So set up data only. This is only core functionality will work. We go to the next question. It says company creates several customer records that are missing vital information. To avoid this issue in the future, the company wants to implement an all approval all for Sorry, Pro 4 that uh, uses the customer approval workflow setup. So, for that, you need to choose two answers um, of choosing uh, submit the customer record for approval and change the value for the specific field. Uh, you may need to check, double check the answers, it can vary as well because these are hardcore questions. You won't find answer from anywhere, so you'll have to read or you will have to go to the learn.microsoft.com and uh, see the answers there which gives you can we can or can give you correct answers as well third one we have this one it says a company is creating a workflow for new sales orders the workflow must lock a record when an approval of a sales document is requested when no more approvals are pending the document must be unlocked so you need to read about unlocking overflows obviously uh, overflows, uh, workflow, sorry, and uh, records, uh, so you can understand that. So the most probable, probable answer I found is a workflow template. Next question says, Company A is using the copy data from company feature to populate data in several tab tables in company B. You select source table for the data transfer. You observe that several of the tables do not appear in copy data from company form. So you got these answers. Um, most answers are likely to be you when you read it. But I selected record existing table B in co company B instance. So if it's already available, so it might ask you sometimes you want to override it or not. Um, this answer shows the tables are not selected. That's a possibility as well. And the copy data from company feature does not support the tables. Okay, the table in company B instance have not been configured with any data yet. So you have to choose whichever you want. I chose this one. Okay, we need to set up the following general ledger account: sales, cogs, purchase. So which one? Three, obviously, you want. So it's definitely these three sales account, purchase account, and cards account. And that's a different turn account, and sales prepayment is totally different than that. So you can check again this one. I'll put the markers there. So this one is says that should be you. You need to set a following purchase order approval limit for three users. User one. Can approve up to 10,000. Hiring man must be approved by user 2. User 2 can improve up to 100,000. Hiring man must be approved by user 3. User 3 can approve um, all of the requests. So if you read, you need to answer, well, you need to have three answers. Uh, set up approval limit um, in the workflow user group. I'll put and choose that. Set approval limit in the approval set, user setup, yes. Set up a user 3 as approval for user 1, no, because it's already user 2. Set up user 3 as approval for user 2, possibility that one as well, second one. And set up user 3 with unlimited approval. So these two are 
and possible to use this as well in between that one. Here we go. Set up the rule number yeah, that one. So user three as user two, yeah, and the last option this one. Next question says um, a company is configuring notif notifications types in this Dynamic 365 Business Central. All system notification approvals are sent instantly to users as internal notes. A user has requested a daily email for pending rule. You need to override the global notification configuration settings to meet the user request. So from there, you need to um, have approved user setup. Uh, obviously, for because this is about the approvals, but you can double check if you want to. You might get some a lot of the questions um, duplicated in my document as well. Right, so this one shows you creating payments for vendor. You have 100,000 in your bank account, the total amount of vendor invoices is 150. Which two options you're going to choose? So, choose these two options. So, prioritize the vendor in priority field, the highest number has the lowest priority. That's the main one. I run the suggest rendered uh, payment action in payment journal and set the global LC to 100,000. You can see different answer, you can read different answer, and you can choose your answer if you feel it's correct. But if I pass my, my, my exam with these questions and answers. So, an, a manufacturing company is configuring posting accounts for journal ledger. The company trades with several regions and has unique posting requirement for the product it consumes and produces. So you need to set up the posting account for each general, um, unique general posting. I chose general business forms posting and general product posting for this. Um, you can choose inventory and general uh, product. Um, but I chose so whichever the colored one are there. I've chose those in my exam, so I've just uh, uh, marked it there. Uh, next one says you are configuring the inventory and pol uh, planning policies for an item stored in three warehouses in Dynamics 365 Business Central. If the item cross below a quantity of 50 for the east and west warehouse, the system should suggest a planning line. For a quantity of 150, if the item drops below a quantity of 100 for the central, uh, for the central warehouse, the system should suggest a planning line for quantity of 100. So I choose the location card, obviously it's a different warehouse used, and the stock uh, keeping unit as well. Next question is about set up new customer receiver accounts for a group of customers. And you need to implement posting groups, so you can say I chose create new general posting group, assign a new general posting, uh, sorry, general ledger account to general posting group, and create a new customer posting group. Uh, company configuring the Dynamics 365 Business Center, you must configure an invoice randing account for sale orders, sales orders that are drop shipped to vendors. So whenever it's a drop shift, then you need to check the answers. Where can it be? So that's the vendor. So dropshipping is normally uh, from vendors. Obviously, when you say several miscellaneous charges are often applied to item to offset dropshipment cost. So I chose vendor account there. Company is configuring dimension. So there are different dimensions here. It's saying you need to configure dimension value type for east and west codes. So for that. Uh, I chose standard because um, that would be um, the heading and, and, and um, then begin and end and then middle is always standard one. Um, we need to set up dimensions for customer uh, with three pages you can do that from so I chose sales order, customer card and customer list. The setting of default dimension business central custom account requires the use of code at hosting. User must be able to select the dimension value code for a predefined list. You need to configure the customer account. So all of this chose um, I chose um, you can say that code mandatory. Uh, the next question says you need to set up dimension for customer or which three pages you can enter default dimension. So default dimension is totally different. So you can select sales, um, which one we selected there, which I 
just keep it to this. I chose this one. Also. I'm going to do my exam. I'm going to go a little bit quicker so I can just show you the questions and answers instead of reading anything. You need to create a general ledger account or chart accounts with three actions, and you're going to choose these three actions. Companies come from the Mostin Group, uh, Dimension of Dynasty 65, Implementation Department, and Customer Group. Users can select one of five uh, values for each dimension. Users are required to configure the dim department dimension when creating customers. So for that, you choose these three from these three. Um, so obviously, I've chose this to pass my exams. Uh, I can't give you information at the moment because it's a long information, so you'll have to go to the website and check for that. I can meet you standing 365. You are redesigning the chart of accounts. I choose this mapping journal ledger account to journal ledger account categories. The user want, uh, wants examples of reports in which this, um, these configurations are directly used. So I chose because it's the cash flow, the balance sheet, income statement, balance sheet, income statement, and obviously cash flow statement. You need to create a new cost account in charge accounts. Which three actions should you perform? So I chose these three actions. So whatever you need, obviously you can pause the video and you can check the answers. You need to create a new general ledger account in chart of accounts. Um, which three reasons should you assign that? So I put these three values. A company needs to change your enterprise for several items due to a change in prof profitability requirement of the, those items. And you need two answers, so I bought adjustment factor and the status. So I've been obviously checking on the LondonMicrosoft.com uh, website to find out the answers, because if you even if you if you know everything, you still need to read that to find out the answer because they're quite tricky on the website as well. So this one, our company has issues uh, with user deleting deleting general ledger accounts. So for deleting, you need to have enabled the check of account usage field and assign that general ledger account to posting group setup table. Company has issues with user deleting general ledger account that were created future um, posting groups use it but have nothing posted to them. Uh, so for that, you can obviously it's a duplicate questions. That's the correct answer, obviously, for the previous one. So that one, a customer has filing price and discount setup, so you can read this one. I can stay for one, two, three, four, five seconds, and then we go down and we found the answer is the price will be 1200 before discount and discount will be zero. And you're creating a sales order for a customer, the customer wants to observe how price prices changes as quantities are adjusted. So for that, you can choose these three. Uh, just please do check as well online um, and match it with these answers. A company needs to change the unit price. Uh, so we've done that before. That was we chose status and that. It can be numbers as well, but most probably it's the numbers because that's the website says. Needs to set up below a specific customer at low price. Other than customer, you need to configure the discount price to apply by default for all future orders. So sales price needs to be um, Okay. You need to assign special price to customer by using customer price group with three actions. So these three actions you can choose from there. I'll be missing you. You're creating sales order for customer. Customer wants to observe how prices changes as quantity as adjustment. So for that, you need to answer these questions. Obviously, three tools. So three tools are these tools. You are setting up a planning option for an item. You want to, um, the planning to automatically suggest purchasing hundred well, one thousand items if the inventory of the item goes below hundred. So you choose this. Um, that is hundred percent answer. Okay. Uh, the next one, you are set a planning option for an item you want to plan. You want the planning to automatically suggest purchasing one thousand items. 
Um, so it's the same thing what we've seen above. It's the same answers up there. Some of the questions are duplicated, obviously, it, it comes different answers every time when you go for the exam. So the replenishment one, uh, you can check that the item must be replenished by using re uh, reposition worksheet with the calculate plan rec worksheet that job. So I chose this two. The company needs to replenish all the items. Um, okay. There was, yeah, yeah. So that is on the only required, I think, one answer. So ignore that one. Take this one because that's my mark. That this color always shows that that's that last exam. Um, you need to remove customization. Okay, the customization. What you do is you select these three, and that will be the answer. Process sales pro order processor using a user wants to sign in Dynamic 365 is a center to view a new rule center other than what is currently displayed. So whenever somebody wants to see a new rule, they need to go to my setting page. Um, most probably it's that one as well. But double check here, you probably see this question again. Uh, but that's the answer I chose in my exam because you have to go to my setting first. That's why it says check. So it's sales code for a contact in Dynamic 365 Business and without creating a customer contact. So for that you have to select the customer, create customer action in sales code and then select the make order action on sales code. You need to create a permanent filter list of all customers who have uh, a balance to you that is older than one week. So that's a tricky one as well. So you need to answer, uh, select these answers. So this color is the last exam um, which I passed. So make sure you check these colors. If it's yellow or other green, just double check it. You need to ensure all the customers who have maximum subscriptions are invoiced. So that will be recurring one. So recurring and that's um, a recurring as well. So you can choose from there. Cleaning company charges for cleaning services by the hour. All payments um, must have must be paid in full before service are rend uh, rendered because the th third party is hired to con conduct the cleaning. So that's the answer for that. After this question, you can read the question and you can answer these. So five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. That one you can say special order item from the company running Dynamic 365 Business Center for, because the time frame the item must be sent directly from the vendor to the customer. So I chose these two. Uh, that's the normal question. So you just make sure you see 5000 and you can come to this question and you can answer as this. So that one company recently posted several transactions that must be reversed. You always do the reversing from general ledger entries. You post a sales document, you must you have no apply to cash received for the customer. So I chose general ledger entries. So you can see yeah, that's the past um, I passed you on to twenty seventh of April twenty twenty four. So I hope you understand the, these questions and nobody put the questions there, I thought it might just help some people and thanks for watching.